Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In today's video, I will show you how to set up printer pooling on a Windows Server print server. If you manage multiple printers in a busy office or organization, printer pooling can help automatically distribute print jobs across multiple devices. Printer pooling is a feature in Windows that allows multiple printers to be grouped together under one logical printer. When printer pooling is enabled, the Windows print server automatically distributes print jobs among the printers in the group. This is useful in high volume printing environments where multiple printers can work together to handle the load, reducing wait times for users. So you can create a single printer queue on the print server and link it to multiple physical printers. And down error. When a user sends a print job to the printer in the group, Windows automatically directs the job to the first available printer in the group. This method requires you to connect all the printers to the same print server, either over the network or directly to the server. All the printers in the group use the same driver. It is preferable that they are all of the same model or have a universal driver that works with all the printers in the group. I now have three printers on this server that have been connected and defined on the server, and they work together on the same network. Each printer reserves its own IP address. The first printer, which is the main one for me, I enabled the sharing feature on it, and it reserves an IP address of 100 on the same network. As for the second printer, I did not share it because it will work through the first printer after enabling the printer pooling grouping feature, and it reserves an IP address of 108 on the same network, of course. And the third printer, which is also not shared and reserves an IP address of 106 on the same network. And now after making sure that all the printers that you want to include in the pool are installed on the Windows print server, I will move to the next step, which is to enable printer pooling, which is a simple step because most of the technical setup is managed on the print server. Open Server Manager, and from there click on Tools, and from the menu select Print Management. And from the left side, expand Print Servers, expand your server that the printers are working on, and select Printers. You will find all the installed printers on the right side and the status of each printer. Then open the properties of the shared primary printer and select the Ports tab. All you have to do now is select the Enable Printer Pooling option from the bottom. Then select the port for the second and third printers to be combined into one group and click Apply then OK. And don't worry, the Windows print server will distribute print jobs among the printers in the group automatically. So if one of the printers in the pool goes offline, the remaining printers can continue to handle print jobs. Users only need to send jobs to one print queue only, which is the shared printer that appears on the client computers when you open Shared Printer on the client computer and open the properties of the Shared Primary Printer, select the Ports tab. You will find that the three IP addresses have been reserved and added to this printer, and thus the user will send a print job to one printer, but the server will manage which printer the print job will be sent to, and the server will distribute the jobs automatically, which reduces waiting times. If the primary printer is busy, the server will send a print job to the second or third printer in case the second printer is also busy. If you want users to be able to access the grouped printer automatically, use the group policy to deploy the printer across domain users. I have made a video explaining this step by step. I will leave you the video link in the description. Watch it because it will save you a lot of time instead of manually adding the group printer to client computers. That's all. With this setup, multiple printers can work together seamlessly, automatically distribute print jobs, and improve efficiency in any office environment. This means faster printing, less downtime, and no need for users to manually choose a printer. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more IT lessons and troubleshooting guides. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Or, if there is another topic you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.